Hello, hi guys, welcome to Dog's Podcast. Dr. Ali here. And I'm Dr. Inky. Welcome to the podcast. Two medical doctors sometimes talk about stuff medical, sometimes non medical. And the way we do it is each each week, each one of us will do a research and we will try and explain as simple as possible terms to the other person mm-hmm. so that uh, the other person get learn a little bit of stuff, like, you know? And hopefully, you guys you, learn you, you guys learn something as well. Sometimes not just learning, sometimes it's sharing. It's sharing, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, this week's my turn and I'm going to talk about well, re- recently, right? In in, in KL, a couple of things has happened. Number one, uh, because grab prices has gone up, so everyone's driving a car. Mm. Number two, it's raining. Mm. So yes. more and more people are actually driving because uh, less people are, are taking the motorbikes. So hence, commute in KL these days have increased from one hour to one and a half hours per way. Mm-hmm. And basically, you're killing about three hours per day. Oh, that's a lot actually. Right? So I'm going to talk about top three tips and hacks on how to increase productivity in your three hour drive. But but you're driving, what else can you do while you're driving? That's the thing. So uh, you're, you're limited down to, to, to what you can do as a driver. Okay. All right. So tip number one, of course, age old thing, listen to auditory audiobooks, podcasts, or some form of auditory learning. Okay. All right. So these are probably the most easiest things to do mm-hmm. uh, whereby you just you know, tune in listen but often right it's a problem of what to listen to that's true that's true there's a problem of what to listen to and not all podcasts are good not all audiobooks are readily available mm-hmm. and most people end up because they don't know what to do they end up just listening to music that's right now music on one hand is relaxation but on the other hand actually you, you it serves nothing for productivity Hmm. Okay. It, so I mean, it's nice for relaxing. Yeah, it's nice for relaxing. It's nice, for, relaxing. It's nice for a little bit of entertainment, mm. a little bit of relaxation. Maybe for one way of the commute, you can relax yourself. But one on on one way, I still feel that you know, it's it's time wasted. Might as well learn something. Okay. All right. So, couple of podcasts that you can listen to. Mm. Number one, the Two Dogs Podcast. Yeah, you can listen to our podcast definitely. <laughs> it's called self promotion. Yeah. Huh? But we teach you a lot of stuff. You know. And yes. It's exactly. hundred and seventy episodes yeah. by now. So no joke. If you do one a day, right, it takes half for you to even clear off all yes, our lessons. Exactly. Mm. Then if you don't, and and once you're finished, just go back. Just round. go back and second round because you go, you are bound to forget. Bound to forget, and there's something new to learn. Yes. All right. But number two, you can look, tune into, you can search for the Tim Ferriss show. Yeah, Tim Ferriss is he's he's pretty good. Yeah. So Tim Ferriss is is made famous because he came out with a four hour work week. Yeah. Which we had a podcast about mm-hmm. it, and basically it's a, a lot to do with productivity. Yes. So it's good to listen to to, to the Tim Ferriss show and learn productivity tips especially for yourself and how to enhance your personal growth apart from your company mm. right another one that you can listen to is called uh, How I Built This with Guy Riz or Riz uh, Guy uh, is spelled as G-U-Y mm. so he goes into uh, businesses and also even even technology okay how they build certain things and it helps you to get into the the, the, the the inside, the behind the scenes of how each person works and why they do something. At the end of the day, how you want to build a business, it's not so much about how, but it's the why first. Mm-hmm. Once you know the why, the how, the where, the, the, the uh, what to do, yep. everything falls into place. True. All right. So, and of course, our two dogs. So that makes up three podcasts that you can listen to. Okay. Now, if I don't want to listen to podcasts, what else can I listen to? Listen into audiobooks. Ah. Audiobooks. All right. Personally, there are so many out there. Personally, I I, I, I pay. You have to pay. Yeah, they? most of the audiobooks. No choice. Use. Yeah, I, I would say do pay for it. Do because, pay for it. Because the authors took time to actually craft right. it up. Right. Correct. Write it out, craft it out. Right. right. So, you know, even though... And audiobooks are not that expensive yes. compared to regular books. Right? Correct. Compared to a regular book, if you pick up a book, even if you got you picked it up in let's say let's uh, say a sale, uh, at sale, yeah, you 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 got it in Big Bad Wolf, yeah, it's gonna still cost you about what ten ringgit. Yeah, it's about, it's about it's about ten to twenty. Five ten ringgit. Let's yeah. say ten ringgit on average per book, all right. And let's say if you can digest three or four books in that time. Mm-hmm. You times it over a year, it's the same cost yeah, as your it's podcast. Actually, it's, it's, it's actually really expensive. Mm. So uh, personally, I subscribe to Blinkist. Mm. Blinkist. So it's a good audiobook program that you can use it on your iPod, uh, iPhones and also your, your Androids. You are spending round about, round about 300 a year. Okay, so it's about, actually it's less than a dollar a day. Less than a dollar a day. Plus, it's not just you. You can actually invite one more person in to share the account with you. 
Oh, so it's actually even even cheaper. Even cheaper. You share the cost. Correct. So if you share the cost, it's it, it works out to be just about 150 less than 50 cents a day. Less than 50 cents a day. Unlimited number of books. It's not going to give you the full book, but it gives you the gist ah, in a 15 minute segment. Nice. I think it's good enough. Good enough. good enough. good enough. Good enough. Most books are actually fillers. Yeah, actually a lot of, yeah, actually a lot in between, right? Actually it has nothing to do with the storyline. Nothing to do with the storyline. It's just fillers, 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 right. fillers just to, to, to fulfill 300 pages for, for the publisher. Yeah. But the real zest of it, the real gist of it, it's a 15 minute thing. Yeah. And if you really like it, then you go buy the book. Yeah. Because most of the time, you know, even if you go to the bookshop, how, how you choose a book? Yeah, the thing is, you wouldn't know how good a book is. Correct. And especially the only, if they seal it. Yes, especially if they seal it. The only the only way you know a book is good is number one, it's recommended by someone or on some bestseller list. Correct. Or number two, you somehow turn to the back and read the, read the synopsis. synopsis, which wouldn't really tell you much, actually. Correct. So it's kind of a gamble to even buy a book now. Mm. It's a bit of a gamble. So putting yourself into an audiobook actually is a 50 cents a day risk free thing. There, whereby you can actually listen in, you like it, go for it. Yeah, it's it's cheaper than roti chana. It's cheaper than roti chana, definitely. So that is what I would say uh, as one of the first tip that I would say if you are looking into increasing your knowledge, go for audiobooks or podcasts. Okay. Worst case scenario, just listening to BFM was again. Mm. <laughs> no lah, <laughs> BFM. I find. But, that, but it, has it has changed. I find that BFM is a little bit boring these days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Back in when it first started, mm. I think the first two years was really good. Yeah, the first couple of years. First was really two years good. really good. In now, I would say the BFM announcers are really boring. I try to. They are trying to. Hard. They, no, they are. They are trying very hard, and they are trying to fill up the airtime mm. with mm. nonsensical commentary yes right it's their own personal view and yes. uh, nobody really cares about your your personal your personal views yeah. you know and 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 even once upon a time their their breakfast grill was quite good mm. after a while it became like they put you in the spot just to grill you yeah exactly no after a while you realize one thing right yeah. actually most people get on breakfast grill right it's actually a promotion it's thing. a promotion thing. they actually pay to get on oh yes, yes yeah they actually pay to get on and and if you want to go on bfm you can actually pay to get you on. can pay to get on all right so uh, hence look into podcasts that actually make sense yeah. okay and there are a lot more but see which one suits you even if you are looking into things that are totally nothing to do with your your vocation mm-hmm. but just to increase your site knowledge and general knowledge mm-hmm. this guy if he has another podcast bell listen to him <laughs> all right tip number two voice notes voice notes voice notes it's weird but this is something i just came across and it makes very good sense now during your commute, right? It's some of the, it's, it's a bit like sitting on the toilet bowl. Okay. It's a time where you you ruminate and then you plan and strategize. You reflect, ponder, and strategize. Okay. And a lot of times, right, weird thoughts will come in. Okay. And they are just like that, a fleeting moment. Some of the best ideas only stay with you for like five seconds. True. True. Five seconds. And if you said, okay, I will write this down later. Okay, then you definitely forget it. Chances are you forget it. Yeah. Chances yeah, are you right, forget it. Right. So if you have, you know, you just take up the voice or even you just record yourself on video, it doesn't matter because you can record something very fast rather than writing it down. Okay, so so it means you 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 would you would dictate to yourself. Dictate to yourself what short, the idea is. Short, no, short, short uh, dictation. Short, short dictation. Short notes. Mm. Okay, interesting. A bit like I've never heard of that before. Never heard about that, right? Oh, <laughs> I've never heard of that before. It's it's only when 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 I was I was reading through and like. Oh, Makes sense, and and the, the 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 TV series suits. Yeah, suits. You know the chubby body yes, yes, lawyer yes, yes, always right. carries his yeah his his portable recorder, secretary yes, thing. Yes, and he records every stupid thing he that yes, comes to his mind. Right. It actually makes sense. Huh. It interesting. Actually makes sense because your thoughts, your ideas, and some of the best ones don't last very long, and it disappears. It's best for you to at that spot quickly record it, and that's it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually really interesting. I've actually never heard of any. To be honest, I've only seen people record voice notes on TV. On TV, correct. I've never seen people actually do it in real correct, life. Correct, correct. But now that I've, I, I, when I was hmm. researching about this topic, it made sense. I'm like, something worthwhile to try. Yeah, there's actually something worthwhile to try. Because, because when you think of something and then you vocalize it, right, you can actually expand the idea. And you know how minds work in a way whereby you cannot, in a way that you can't write it down on paper. That's true. No matter how absurd that idea is, but you can never translate it a hundred percent onto paper and words. But in, in in vocalizing it, you actually say everything you want first. Hold it, hold on to it, and later can mm. trans- translate it okay. back. Okay, that's actually really interesting. 
okay? So, so voice notes is my hack number two for you to do something that is uh, really worthwhile and productive. Especially, you just have it on standby and yeah, that's it. Yeah. And most phones nowadays, and now mo- yeah, click everyone, on the camera and, function. Yeah, you click on the camera function, there is a voice function and trust me, you will never leave house without your phone. Yes. Yeah. Since you don't leave home without, without a phone, forget about the voice function, just record the video. You can translate it later and delete the video later. True, true, true. All right. Tip number three, schedule calls. Schedule calls. Schedule calls. Okay. Okay. Well, most of us go and text while we're driving. Mm. You do it. You do yeah, it. Everyone does I it. do it. We do it. We try not to get caught. But truth be told, it's actually very distracting. Yep. Schedule calls. Now, there are always a list of people that we should be calling, but we are not calling. Okay. And for some obscure reason, even up up until the, when I'm doing my research, I'm like thinking, why I never thought of this? Hmm. You know? Call the people that you want to talk to that otherwise you would have forgotten. Okay. For example, like you stay with your parents, that's fine. Mm. I should call my parents mm. you know, every morning, schedule a five, 10 minute call, check in on them, you know, your friends, or let's say you missed someone's message yesterday, mm-hmm. or if there was a business or, or, or some ideation that you want to do with someone, or even if it's your team member. Okay, interesting. Because most cars nowadays comes with a hands-free function. Yes, that's right. You don't even need to use it off your phone. Every car comes with a built-in hands-free function already. You might as well just schedule the call and make the call. But don't make random calls. Okay. So should, should you schedule like really important calls or calls which are more like casual? I think both are important. All right. I think both are important. So the casual ones are for you to catch up, catch up with people that you've not catch up in a while. Mm. Because really if you look at it and you, you open up the message right and like uh, should I text him maybe yes maybe no maybe later then it will end up probably never probably never okay schedule a call alright just all right. give a call okay so I've actually done that before uh. whereby I schedule calls and there was one time right mm. I scheduled a very important call during my drive mm. and it was I got such I, I got into such a heated discussion uh-huh. that I then missed stop my car. turning. No, I missed my turning. <laughs> and, and and the worst part was it was on a highway. Oh dear. So once I missed my turning, right, it mm. took me, I think roughly about 30 minutes to get back to the same route because I had to travel all the way to the next toll, make a U-turn and come back, right? So like 15 minutes one way and 15 minutes the other way. Did it frustrate you or give you more time to talk? No, it actually frustrated me. <laughs> <laughs> it actually frustrated me. And uh, then after that, then then, then I then I uh, decided that I will not schedule important calls, <laughs> really important calls, which requires some sort of thinking mm. because I wouldn't be able to concentrate on, on the road. But I, I would say, yes, I totally agree. If, if let's say you're scheduling like Casual calls, casual calls or, or, or catch up or, calls, uh, catch up calls. You know, to, to call people that that you've always wanted to call or mm. meaning or, or meant to call but haven't really had the time. Actually, I would say it's it's a good way to to get in touch. Yeah, actually, you the are social, the, so, the social aspect of being. Alive. You are you are totally right because yeah. I think these days we are so used to just texting. Correct. Right. Correct. We just text and then we just leave the text there. Yes. And uh, you know, some people just read the text and just and just leave it because maybe again maybe they're not interested in replying or mm. maybe they don't have time. Yeah. But a call. Is is currently more I would say more internet correct right? it's I mean if you can't meet them physically yeah. that's the next best yeah, yeah, thing yeah 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 exactly yes. like, example I, I, I give I give you a simple example when was the last time you actually had a call on your birthday from like really close friends nope yeah, almost never. never these days. Never. Right? It's a text. Never. Right. It used to be very common. Yes. Because you it used to be the fact that last time uh, text uh, SMS is really expensive. So mm. you so you just call. Maybe it's just just for a couple of minutes, one or two minutes just to say hi. Mm. But nowadays almost no, nobody calls. Nobody Even calls. though we are super connected, no no one actually nope. calls. Everyone's these days. text. Yes, everything's mm. text. The, yeah. the best you can get is a, a short clip. <laughs> well, <laughs> not no. even their face, it's something else. Yeah, and like a, like and, a birthday cake with some yeah, candles. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 a lot of the text these days are actually um, uh, pre-scripted by the social media <laughs> so it's like hey, it's a birthday do you want to say happy birthday yes the moment you click yes then automatically a birthday a greeting is generated that's AI you know most no, people just copy and paste no, even Facebook uh, LinkedIn and all if oh, it's yeah, your yeah, birthday yeah, you just, yeah, click, yeah. Uh, just click would you like to send a birthday message to Inky his yes. birthday today yeah you just click then they say happy birthday so it's like it's, it's really impersonal these days yeah yeah LinkedIn wish yeah. this guy a birthday today yes exactly <laughs> and it's already pre-scripted already you yes, just no, have to click send pre-scripted See how right. unhuman we humans have become. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
three hacks, three tips to increase the productivity of your commute, especially if you're a driver. Now, if you're a non-driver, there's so many other mm. things you can do. That's right. If you're a driver, there's so few things you can do, but I these are the top three on my list out of like 20 over things which I've researched. I think these are the three most practical things that doesn't get you into trouble and you can do it day to day. Yep. All right, so until then, I hope you guys found this um, interesting. If you have some hacks and tips on what you do during your daily commute, especially if you're a driver, mm. especially if you're a driver, mm. because I drive, I, I, I don't have the luxury of someone driving me. So you, you drive as well, right? Yeah, I drive as well. Mm. So hence, if you have got some tips, hacks on what you do to increase productivity, do that stuff. I want to know because I also want to see what I can implement to make my life better. Otherwise, three hours a day is horrible. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a horrible guy. Uh, I yeah uh, yeah I I try you, not to you drive too much most of the time. Right? Yeah, I I try. And, not and not you can too much. And, and you can go any time of the day. You know, like we regular people still have to stick to regular hours. Mm. Mm. Okay, till then. Hope you guys found this uh, interesting. We'll be back next week on the two dogs once again. Till then, Doctor Ali. Bye bye. Bye.